All right, I am now going to be comparing these two air rifles. I will be shooting them both. Right here, this is the classic Daisy Red Rider. It was, it's been around since the 40s and is perhaps best known for its role in the movie Christmas Story, which was came out in the mid 80s. It's what that boy Ralph Parker wanted so bad as a Christmas gift, and yet his mom, his teacher, and Santa Claus all said that he would shoot his eye out. But as we, we're all familiar with the movie, he does end up getting it. And he does almost shoot his eye out. It's a good thing he was wearing the glasses. But I will be shooting this one, so I'll be testing this one. And I will be comparing it with this one down below. This here, this is the Marlin Cowboy Lever Action Air Rifle. It is a Crossman product. And it came out just in 2010. It came out as a competitor to the Daisy Red Rider, and supposedly it has a higher muzzle velocity. Now, I'm going to be shooting both these rifles at various targets. Okay, right here I have got a target, a standard shooting target. I have it on behind the target, it is attached to a wooden paddle. These wooden paddles, which are used in certain schools for paddling school children, corporal punishment as it is called, which is still done in some 20 states in this country. There's still some schools that do that. As for me, I like to use the paddles the way they should be used, and that is as targets. And also for martial arts, for practicing breaking techniques. As you can see right here, this is a paddle that I broke using a stomp kick. I have a, the other YouTube video where you can see me breaking this very paddle. It's a good break and I now have it mounted. It's my symbol, the broken paddle. So anyway, I will be shooting at this target which is on the wooden paddle. I've also got these two bottles. I have got a plastic bottle and a metal soda can. Both the bottle and the can, they are filled slightly with water. There's a little water in them. That way it gives it some weight so it won't be blown over by the wind. And I've got here is a chemistry textbook. I will also be shooting at the chemistry textbook to test the penetration power of both air rifles. And so now, let's go on to the shooting. Now, very important, whenever you shoot air rifles, always use safety glasses. Bullets or in BBs, they can ricochet, as shown in the movie A Christmas Story. It was a good thing that Ralphie was wearing his prescription eyeglasses, otherwise he might have very well shot his eye out, as his mom said. So that's a very important safety tip. Always wear safety glasses when shooting air rifles, as these BBs can ricochet. I've had BBs hit the paddle and come right bouncing right back through my window. So it's always it's very important to always wear safety glasses. That way you won't do a Ralphie. If you are safe and careful and shoot responsibly, you will have a fun time shooting, and you will have both your eyes intact when you're done. So always wear these safety glasses. Now, I'm going to start with the Daisy Red Rider. I'm going to take a few shots at the target. And now for the plastic bottle. And now for the tin can. And now for the chemistry book. I will be shooting at the left side of the chemistry book.
Okay, now I will move on to the Marlin after replacing the target. Now for the Marlin. It's a Cowboy Marlin lever action. I put in a new target and I will be taking some shots at it. Now, for the plastic bottle. Now, for the tin can. Now, for the chemistry book, I will be shooting to the right side this time. And that's the Marlin. So those are the two rifles, the Daisy Red Rider and the Marlin Cowboy Lever Action by Crosman. And here are the results. Right here, this is the Daisy target. And here are the holes that I made using the Daisy Red Rider. They are not all that well grouped. I was aiming towards the bullseye and I got two of them are close in but these other two which are further out and then this is the Marlin target with the Marlin level lever action cowboy there's a better grouping in this one there's three holes that are grouped quite close together and then this one which is a little further out but that just goes to show you that the Marlin is a little bit more accurate and a bit more precise than the Daisy this is the tin can I shot at with the Daisy, with the Red Rider. These two holes, these are the two holes I made, and it exited out the back. And this would be with the Marlin. I made the two holes right here, and these are the exits. So with both rifles, they both went right through the cans. Now with the bottles, the plastic bottles I wasn't able to get penetration with either of them uh, did make some marks they're hard to see on the camera but if you look up closely you'll find some marks on both of the plastic bottles as you can see this is the there's a mark right here and one lower down this is the bottle I shot at using the Marlin the Marlin cowboy lever action and here is the chemistry book. Now with the chemistry book, these two holes right here, these were done with the Daisy Red Rider. And on the right side is where I shot the Marlin, these two holes here. And in both cases, they did not go through the front cover, but the holes that the Marlin made the front cover here it is bunched out a bit it's this indentation there is no indentation on the side that the daisy shot at but the Crosman Marlin has more indentation just goes to show you that the Marlin is more powerful more accurate and this would have to be my rifle of choice the Marlin Cowboy Lever Action Air Rifle by Crosman it is more powerful, it's got a higher muzzle velocity, more accurate, more precise, and in my opinion, an all-around better air rifle. So that is my review of the two rifles. Although the Daisy's been around much longer and it was featured in a movie, the Marlin came out just in 2010. But given time, I think the Marlin will bypass the Daisy in popularity. If they made some movie that featured the Marlin, <laughs> That would be pretty cool if they made you know, a Christmas movie or just any kind of movie that featured the Marlin. That would be pretty, pretty good. It would really help sales. I, I think that's what they should do. I think the Marlin is going to beat out the Red Rider sooner or later. So that's my review on these two air rifles. Thank you all for watching.